Algunos de los videos ya están en un video. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class number 17. I guess you can hear me. Creo que sí me pueden escuchar. Wendy, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's perfect. I know it's Monday, kind of difficult day, but uh, let's do our best. Vamos a hacer pues lo que podamos, lo mejor que podamos para que pase una clase lo más pronto posible y entretenida, okay, my friends. So here we have this. The topic of today's class is 
how to use be going to. Creo que la mayoría de ustedes ya ha escuchado un poco acerca de eh, este tema gramatical. How to use be going to. Así que para comenzar, quiero que piensen en eso. Ok. What are you going to do on Sunday? ¿Qué van a hacer el domingo? Ok. So, the sentence should start, I am going to, yo voy a, yo voy a, I'm going to watch TV. Mm, I'm going to watch TV. I'm going to see. Uh, I'm going to go to the park. I'm going to eat. Pupusas. I'm going to sleep all day. I am going to. I am or I'm going to. Y así sucesivamente. Dicen el verbo y el complemento. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to watch Netflix. I'm going, I'm going to study English. Okay, maybe. Yes, of course, why not? So um, here we have, hello, Carlos, Mardo, Gabriel, Oscar, Wilfredo, Luis, Carito. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Después de esas, solo tres clases más. And we finish the course. Después van a tener vacaciones por unas dos semanas. So, perfect, right? So, let's see. Carito, where are you? ¿Dónde está Carito? Uh, I am home. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a decirle que sí. Really? Okay. I am going to. Piensen, everybody think about a sentence. Uh, expressing the activity that you are going to do on Sunday. La actividad que van a hacer el, el domingo. Okay? I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I'm sorry, I have some difficulties over here. So tell me, Wendy, what are you going to do on Sunday? And then we go with Mardo. Um, okay, I'm going to shower my dog. Ah, okay, good. That's perfect. Sunday, it's a perfect day for doing that. Good. Mardo and Carlos. I'm going to the church with my family. Okay, perfect. Me estás copiando. Good. And Carlos and then Carito. <laughs> okay. I'm going to drive it to drop off my whistles. Okay. Interesting. Carito and Gabriel. Okay, teacher. I'm going to rest. I'm going to watch TV. And I'm going to buy a white pant. A white pant. <laughs> okay. I need it. Okay, do it, please. That, that's perfect. Gabriel and Oscar. Okay, I'm going to rest on Sunday. Yes, Sundays are perfect for resting. Oscar and Luis. Okay, I'm going to watch TV and rest and sleep. Yes, we need it. Good. Luis and Wilfredo. 
I am going to play football with my friends. Good, that's perfect. Especially in the morning or in the afternoon. Okay, you can do it. Um, Kenya and then Claudia. I'm going to sure. Uh, I'm going to visit my family. Okay, I'm going to the church. Okay, good. Claudia and Duran. I'm going to do uh, on park uh, on my son. Okay, I'm going to go to the park. I go. I'm going to the park. My son. Or my son. With my son. Okay, Gabriel and okay. Steffi. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to Charmo del Rio with my family. Good, interesting. And Steffi, are you there? I'm going to the park. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, Edwin, what about you, Edwin? What are your plans for Sunday? What are you going to do? Hey, when? I'm going to go to the beach. You're going to the beach. Okay, that's good. Nice. So here we have um, uh, different forms to say I'm going to. Algo que quizás es muy importante y que deben tomar en cuenta es que el I'm going to, dos cosas. Primero, se pueden decirlo así. I am. It's okay. I am going to. Or you can say I'm, pero necesito que suene la M, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going, I'm, no, I'm going to, okay, M sound is extremely necessary, okay, entonces I'm going to, porque si dicen I'm, es como que, si sí, cambiamos las letras, ¿verdad? Entonces el inglés no suena tan, tan, tan propio, okay, so I'm going to or I'm, ¿verdad? I am, I'm, am, okay, that's okay. Good, so there are different forms in la frase I'm going to, significa voy a, así que si van a ir a otro lado, eh, es necesario decir go, o sea, aparte, I'm going to go. También pueden decir I'm going, eh, pero ese ya es un present continuous para el, para el, para el futuro, okay? So, uh, let me see, here I have, Tengo otro vocabulario para ustedes. Let me see. Okay. Nice. Here I have this. The chores. Here I have the chores. That is a workhouse. The work that you do at home. So here we have sweep, barrer, mop, trapear, do laundry. Laundry, do laundry es, es lavar la ropa, okay, la, la, lo, lo que llamamos la lavandería. Water the plants, water the plants, okay. Eh, to dust, dust significa polvo, pero en este caso también es un verbo, ¿verdad? Que es limpiar, eh, desempolvar, okay. So um, here, uh, we have different chores. Of course, uh, you can say wash. Wash significa, no está acá, pero wash significa lavar. Wash the dishes. Lavar los platos, okay. Uh, another is ironing. Planchar, ironing. Uh, we have, well, water the plants. Wash the car, okay. Wash the dog. That's another. Wash the car, wash the dog, okay. Um, order the closet or uh, order the, 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 yes, order. Furniture, furniture son los muebles, okay. And of course we have cooking. Yeah, so that's a, a, another, well, important. Chores, ¿verdad? Si se dan cuenta, la palabra short en inglés significa corto. Cuando eh, normalmente la, la, las chicas que utilizan shorts, súper cortitos, mini, mini, súper cortitos, se le dicen shorts. Pero aquí en, en nuestro hermoso sabor le decimos short, 
Mamá, no me han visto mi chor. Chor. Entonces, cuando decimos chor, suena más como este, ¿verdad? Que es el trabajo en casa. Ok. Good. So now you tell me what is the chore or what is the housework. También se le puede decir así. Missing. What is the housework you don't like? The one that you hate. El que no le gusta, el que odia. Uh, the one that you don't want to do it for nothing. El que no quieren hacer, pero por nada, okay? So we're going to start with, let's say, Carito. What about you? What is the chore or the housework that you definitely don't like? Irony. I really, well, I like it, but depends on everyone. Okay, good. Actually, I don't like housework. Any oh, of come them. On. The come worst on. is I don't. <laughs> okay, okay, Carito. I so prefer do nothing. Oh yeah, like everybody prefers that, <clears throat> do nothing. But well, uh, I ha I guess that we have to do it sometimes. Okay, at least once in a, once in in in, a, in the week, right? Yes. Yeah, you have to do it. Okay, thank you, Carito. So ironing, not for you. Okay, Gabriel, and then Oscar. What about you, Gabriel? No entendí bien la pregunta, teacher. Okay, ¿cuál es el trabajo en casa que no te gusta? Ok, te voy a dar tiempo. Te voy a dar tiempo. Ok, Oscar, and then Luis. The mop. Mop. Ok, you don't like mop. Ok. Thank you. Luis and Wilfredo. Uh, sweet. Sweet. You don't like sweet. Really? Ok. Ok. <laughs> That depends on everybody. Uh, Wilfredo, and then we go with Wendy. Mop. Mop, you don't like to mop. Okay, eh, lo más fácil, mop, okay. Eh, Wendy and Mardo. Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes, okay, wash the dishes. And what about um, after Mardo, we go with Kenya. I don't like sweet and mop. Sweet and mop, las dos. <laughs> okay, el combo, okay. Okay, nice. What about Carlos and Claudia? Ah, Kenia, I'm sorry, and Carlos. Okay, teacher. I don't like to clean to dust. dust. Okay, okay. Nice, clean and dust. Good. Uh, Carlos and Claudia? Do laundry. Do laundry. You don't like it. Okay, good. Uh, Claudia and Stephanie? Uh, to do Limpiar el polvo. <laughs> dust. You don't like to dust. dust. Okay. Uh -huh. dust. Okay. That that's something that is like what like like kind of uh, disgusting. Un poquito como que no mucho. Okay. Uh, Steffi, are you there? And then Gabriel. Wash socks. Wash. Okay. Nice. Gabriel, and then Edwin. Oof, I'm sorry. Yes. What dishes? Wash dishes. Okay, that's another. Especialmente las cacerolas, creo que. That, that's something <laughs> yes. That a nadie le gusta. Yeah. Creo que todos <laughs> le huyen a eso. Okay, nice. Edwin, what about you? Okay, I don't like laundry. Do laundry. Okay, thank you. Um, here we have this. Bien, en este caso, no, lo podemos hacer. Okay. ok, este es el cuadro específico del grammar, ¿verdad? Para que le den una revisada, ya voy a pasar lista, ¿ok? En un momento.
Ok, as you can see, como pueden ver, tenemos el afirmativo. Here we have the affirmative form fácil. Ya lo acabamos de practicar en la pregunta inicial, ¿verdad? I'm going to. Si queremos decir que él va a hacer las cosas, he is going to. Él va a cocinar. Or she is going to. Ella va a cocinar. We are going to. Nosotros vamos a cocinar. If we want to say negative sentences, the only thing that we have to do is to add not. Solo agregamos not. ¿Verdad? O en lugar de decir he is not, podemos decir he isn't. Y ya está. We are not or we aren't. Fácil. Como que si eh, aquí lo que vamos a modificar es el verbo to be. ¿Ok? Y ya saben que para modificar el verbo to be en negativo solo necesitamos not. No utilizamos don't ni doesn't. ¿Ok? Y para las preguntas igual. Agregamos verb be al inicio. Y ya está. That's it. Eso es todo. Right? So, uh, going to, it's used for future events. Es utilizado para eventos a futuro. Okay? So, that's it. And um, let me see. I'm going to show you this. Solo vamos a hacer una cada uno. Okay? So, remember. Si aquí está un espacio, eh, utilizaríamos qué? Eh, la, la interrogativa. Ok. Um, we're going to start. Who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere probar? You have two, three, four, five, and six. Tenemos seis acá. Anybody wants to try? Ok, Mardo. En Carlos, go. Number two. Number two. Are you brother? Ok, como estamos hablando de tu hermano, sería él, o sea, sería is. Is your brother? Is your brother? Is your bro brother too? I am going to. Ajá, is your brother going today? to? Yes, is your brother going to travel next week? Yes, y contestamos aquí está, ¿verdad? Yes, he. he is. He is, thank you. Ok, Carlos en Kenia. Ok, teacher number three. Ok. De acuerdo. Alex is. ¿De quién se acuerda? He's going to. Yes, thank you. Alex is going to go to work today because he is sick. Perfect. Kenia. Okay, teacher. Uh, number five. Number five, yes. Are you going to do your homework? Yes. Yes. Yes, are. I am. Um, I are. Oh, no, I am. I am. I am. Yes, yes, I am. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Now, Carito. Teacher, I have a question. In the number three, the answer is, is not going to work because it, it, I'm sorry. Yes, 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 yes. It's a negative. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not going. Yes, that's it. I'm sorry. Let me see. Oh, no. Antes. Yes. Yep. Okay. And number six, does anybody? Okay, Carito, you go number six. Okay, we're too busy, so we are not going to have lunch. Yes. Yep. Pass it, right? So we are not going to have lunch, okay? So it's part of the sentences. We're going to continue later with these exercises, okay? So I guess you're doing really good. No es tan difícil. Esta, para, considero que es una de las estructuras gramaticales más fáciles que hay. So, first we'll go with this. What is the last lie you told? ¿Cuál es la última mentira que dijiste? 
aquí ah. también. Aquí entran las white lies, las mentiras piadosas. Si ustedes me quieren decir y me quieren convencer de que no dicen mentiras. Ok, no problem. I will believe you. Le voy a creer en definitiva. But, al menos una vez en la vida, hemos dicho mentiras, right? Más de una vez. So, Before we start, I'm going to check the attendance list, okay? So you say hi or hello if you listen to your name. Let's see. Okay, we have Carlos, are you there? Hello, teacher. Okay, Carito. I'm here, teacher. Good. Edwin. Present, teacher. Good. Um, Steffi. Hello. Hello. Evelyn. No, Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Okay, hello. Gabriel. Hello, teacher. Hi. Frank. Present, teacher. Good. Yvette. Present, teacher. Nice. Um, Kenya. Luis. Hello, teacher. Nice. Mardo. Hello, teacher. Hi. Um, Oscar. Hello, teacher. Nina. Creo que Nina no está. Right. Okay. Um, Wilfredo. Present, teacher. Mm -hmm. Claudia. Good. I'm here. And Wendy. Present, teacher. Nice. So, any volunteers for this? If not, I'm going to check, select somebody. Okay. We're going to start with what is the last slide that you told? And the first person is going to be Wendy and then Luis. Okay, Wendy. A ver. Okay, teacher. Uh, <laughs> I recently say to a co worker that I was working on some something that he asked me to do, but uh, he started to do, to do in jet. Okay, so you said, yes, <laughs> I'm doing it, and you? Ni por ser que lo había hecho, okay, nice. <laughs> okay, hmm. liar, liar, mentirosita. Luis, and then Evelyn. Okay, teacher, uh, I told my mom that is why I'm going to shopping in San Sonate. When in fact it was going to the port of Acajutla to work with some of my friends. Friend. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you were supposed to go shopping, but you were. <laughs> a... Otra cosa fuiste a comprar. Yes, some other things. Yes. Okay, nice. Good, Luis. And Evelyn, and after Evelyn, we go with Oscar. Uh, the last slide was on Friday. My oh. friends uh, were going, going to party, but I told them I could, couldn't because I had family re reunion. Meeting. Family meeting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I didn't really want to, to, go. to, to go. Yes. Uh, I, I was tired. Yeah, you wanted to rest. Okay, to yes. sleep, yes. And your friends yes. were like very, hey, come on, let's go. And you, mm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't. Yes, and that's really common to say that we have family things, family meetings for not mm -hmm. going to. And most of the <laughs> friends respect, so good for you. A menos que vean este video, but that's nice. <laughs> okay, perfect, Emily. Bueno, okay. no bueno por mentir, sino thank you for your participation. Um, Oscar, right? And after Oscar, we go with Wilfred. <laughs> Teacher, and I don't remember my ah, come on. last slide. <laughs> ajá, ajá. Yeah, really. Ni siquiera una mentira piadosa. White lies. No. Maybe last slide. <laughs> ajá. No. No, no. Oh, okay. Dice que es un hombre sincero y no miente. Wilfredo, you go. Uh, the last slide 
I too was about my wife a mot motorcycle. What you consulted her? Okay. Um, you consulted her. Le consultaste algo, le preguntaste. No. Ok, no, bueno, la creo compré que... sin consultarla. Ah, la compraste sin consultarla, ajá. Ok. Y que cuando dijiste que era sobre tu esposa, dije, mm, ok, se viene algo peligroso. But oh, perfect. Yeah, I guess about financial acquisition, it is important to, to mention it. Ok, it is. Este es el proverbio que es rebelde. Ok, um, Kenia, yes, you want to participate, right? Ok. When I phone company to me, me in offer me a plane, they asked me if I was working or studying. I on, only to only told them that I was studying so that they would no longer insist. Uh, accepting the plane. Okay, yes. Well, that's good because that was a solution. A light was a solution, right? Kind of. They were not sí. asking. Okay. Yeah. Es que teacher, y se pueden estarle diciendo muchas cosas a uno. Mejor le digo que no estoy trabajando. <laughs> ah, bueno. Ah, uh, sí, son también los ex. No problem, Kenya. I understand you. Te entiendo. A veces están insistiendo demasiado. And you, please, no. No, I say no. Ya dije que no. Right, right. <laughs> okay. okay. Pero así rápido los... Los, los despachaste. Eh, sí. <laughs> perfect, perfect, Kenya. Thank you. Okay. Here we have a conversation between Jen and Gerardo. And here we have um, the going to. Esa tenemos esta, esa estructura. So here we have, hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? Aquí está la pregunta. I'm going to arrive, arrive es llegar. ¿Cuándo va a llegar o cuándo llegará? I'm going to arrive on Friday eh, 14th. Voy a llegar el 14, el viernes 14. How long? ¿Cuánto tiempo? How long is por cuánto tiempo? How long are you going to stay with us? Mr. Gomez, I'm going to stay until Monday. Hasta, until es hasta. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Creo que todas estas palabras ya las conocen. Let me see. Until significa hasta. How long, sugiero que, que, que anoten esto. How long es cuánto. Cuánto, normalmente es how long es cuánto tiempo. O por cuánto. Pero siempre refiriéndose al tiempo. Por cuánto tiempo o cuánto tiempo. Are you going to say? Mm -hmm. Y ya saben que single room or double room es habitación sencilla o, o habitación doble. Um, Golden Star Hotel es el nombre de, de este hotel. And that's it. Okay, so I don't think we have problems with this conversation. It's really easy. Está bastante fácil. Okay, so for this, uh, we're going to have una pequeña práctica, pero no nos vamos a ir, digamos así, digamos, con los breakout rooms, porque todavía Zoom está fallando, me parece. Así que voy a elegir a dos parejas. La primera va, okay, Kenya, hello. Ay, se me activó. Ah, sí, sí. Ok. Well, the first one is going to be Wendy and Luis. Wendy, you are Jen, and Luis, you are Gerardo. You can do it. Hello. Thanks, you call. You thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. 
How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank, thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I am going to stay on Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Perfect, very well. So um, something that is really common for receptionists or call center agents, los agentes de call center, dicen, esa es la típica. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. Oh, thank you for calling uh, the Golden Star Hotel. This is Josué speaking. Esa es como la manera más, más, más común de ellos. Así que, thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. La palabra, eh, esa se dice how. Okay, how, Friday, double, double, double. It is until, how long. Okay, for the next, I will need Carito as Jen. And I will have here Mardo as Gerardo, please. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to start on entire Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Okay. Nice. Until, until Monday. Until. Thank you. Yes, can you see? It's easy. Está bastante fácil esta estructura gramatical. So, here we have this. The Golden Star Hotel. Fill the form with the information from the conversation. Compare your answer with a partner. Entonces, tenemos acá agent, guest, check-in, check-out, single room, double room. Entonces, acá tenemos este... Vamos a llenar esta información. El agent es la persona que está a cargo de, de, de recibir la llamada. Guest, le dije la vez pasada que era guest. A ver si se acuerda alguien. ¿Qué es guest? Huesped. Huesped. Invitado. That's it. Check-in es el, es el registro, ¿verdad? Registro inicial. Eh, y el check-out es el registro de salida. ¿Verdad? Registro de entrada, registro de salida. And you do the check-in in hotels, in the airports, and in some other places, okay? And the check-out as well. Y tenemos single room, double room, okay? So in this case, what's the name of the agent? Do you remember the name of the agent? Nobody? Jen. Jen, that's it, it's Jen. And what about the guest? Gerard. Mr. Gomez. Gomez. Okay, Gerard or Gerardo Gomez. Yes, Mr. Gomez. Okay, and here we have the check-in. Okay, when is the check-in? I mean... Friday 14th. Friday 14th, yes. 14. And what about the check-out? Right. Monday. Monday, right? ¿Qué sería la fecha de Monday? It's 14 on Friday, right? 17. 17. 17, that's it. Good. And uh, Gerardo asked for a single room or a double room. Single room. That's it. That's perfect. Single room. Thank you. Okay, now here we have this. Evelyn, can you help me reading this, please? 
these parts. Use good like. Use good, good like for a very polite request. Need and want are also possible, but less polite. Okay, good. So would like es, eh, se utiliza para hacer una petición o una solicitud amable. Si utilizamos need or want, si se puede, pero es menos, less polite, es menos amable. I would like to, que es como me gustaría, ¿verdad? Pero si ustedes dicen need I want, es como yo quiero tal cosa, ¿verdad? Quiero tal, entonces cuando ustedes pedimos eso, sí, con quiero, quiero, o deme tal cosa, es como que a veces no es tan amable, ¿ok? So that's it. Um, there is a saying, eh, hay un dicho que dice que el cliente, the, the client eh, is always right. Siempre tiene la razón, right? And it is, of course, but as customers, we have to be polite. Creo que los que han trabajado, people who have worked with customers or clients, we have like, uh, we have faced with difficult customers. Hemos encontrado clientes difíciles. Todo lo que han trabajado con, con, con cualquier tipo de cliente. Creo que hemos encontrado clientes o, o personas realmente complicadas. So, what we have to do, creo que la mayoría. A ver, levánteme eh, la mano así con la, con la emoji. ¿Quiénes han tenido o han lidiado con clientes difíciles? Ok. Let's see. Oh, ok, solo Kenia, Mardo, yes, good, Luis, ok, that's it, good, creo que Oscar, ok, uh, Wendy, I understand you, créanme que lo entiendo, I understand you, and it is like, um, people are demanding for something, están pidiendo, exigiendo algo, they have a very bad attitude, bless you, Carito, bless you, es apenas lunes, Carito, tranquilo, ok, so, uh, people are so demanding, es muy exigente, and well, we are, you are stressed and all those things, at least we uh, deserve, merecemos, we deserve polite Uh, request, ok y al Así final que, ellos tienen la razón tenemos que aceptarlo uh, the point aunque here, no lo tengan aunque no lo tengan pero por no perder al cliente eso porque se quejan en when there is a complaint mm -hmm. uh, voy a escribir esta, este vocabulario que considero I consider it is important complain es quejarse ok complain Uh, demanding clients eh, que son clientes exigentes. Demand no, no es demandar. Bueno, sí es demandar, pero es como, como exigir. Ok. So there are uh, demanding clients. Eh, they complain, se quejan. Ok. They complain and sometimes they ask uh, to talk with the supervisor with the superior, with your boss. Y a veces están como, como, uh -huh. eh, threaten eh, significa cuando están amenazando. Okay. They threaten sometimes. Eh, if I don't talk to your supervisors, I'm going to blah, blah, blah. Y comienzan entonces. Eh, there are really difficult eh, in complicated clients or customers. And of course, when you have that experience, cuando tienes ya esa experiencia, you try to be a better customer. Después uno intenta ser un buen cliente, right? Bueno, eso me ha pasado a mí. Uno dice, I understand this person. Entiendo esta, por, por lo que puede estar pasando. So, let's be polite. Hay que ser amables, okay? So here we have, um, I would like to make a reservation. I need to make a reservation and I want to make a reservation. Pueden usar las tres, but uh, the most recommended is this. Okay. Perfect. And here we go with some others. 
What is the last lie that you told? Antes de esto, es bien interesante esta, bueno, I recommend a movie. It's from uh, Jim Carrey. It's liar, liar, mentiroso, mentiroso. It's a, a really good movie uh, from Jim Carrey. And he, uh, well, his character, he's a lawyer. Él es un abogado. Entonces, eh, hay un juego de palabras. Lawyer and liar. Por eso cuando a su hijo le están preguntando en el kinder, ¿qué, qué es tu, tu papá? ¿Qué hace? Ah, he's a liar. Él dice, él es un mentiroso. Y la, la profesora, ah, no, he's a lawyer. Entonces, eh, se da como ese juego eh, interesante de palabras. So, liar es mentiroso. I'm not saying that you are la liars. No digo que son mentirosos, but sometimes we say a white lie. ¿Verdad, Carito? A ver, mujer, confesate. Never be. Never, no. never, never. Carito, ajá. Uh -huh. I'm waiting. Okay. I asked to my husband what lie I told and he replied. I'm going to go exercise every afternoon at the cafe alone and I'm going to eat healthy. Oh, so that's a lie, right? Because you're not going to do it. Yes. Okay. But you can do it, Carito, if you want. Mm -hmm. But... First, I don't like. Second, I don't have time. Okay. I don't know. Yes, it's difficult. Excuse, excuse, excuse. Yeah, you can have a, a little bit of time. You can. It is difficult, but it is possible. Oh. But if you don't want, it's okay. Así que ni modo, carito. Sigamos engordando. Por eso es la vida. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what about Mardo? Hasta de blanco viene Mardo, parece querubín, angelical, se ve. Okay. Es el uniforme. Okay. Uh, the last lie I told was when they asked, asked me about a report and I said that I had already finished finish it and if I in, it, finished it, and it was not finished, finished. Finished, finished. Finished. Okay. Yeah. Finished. So you say, yes, the, the report is okay. It's finished. But in the reality, it was a lie, right? Not finished. La vieja lies control. to me. Uh, lies to you. Te yes. miente a ti, este hombre. Yes. Sí, dice Mardo, sí, dice. Really? Okay. <laughs> How many times, <laughs> Carito? <laughs> ¿Qué dice? Ríe. <laughs> Carito, how many times? ¿Cuántas veces te ha mentido este hombre? I don't know, but I... Hay poner so la canción de fondo today. de él me mintió. ¿Mm? Él me mintió. I don't uh -huh. know cuántas veces más me has mentido, Mardo. Va. Muchas veces. Empiezate. <risa> ah, vaya, ya vamos a ver. Sería interesante ver cómo es carito de jefa, a ver si no es muy demanding. Ok, so, no son expertos. ok, expertos en la mentira. Ok, um, let's listen to Carlos. Are you ready with your life? ¿Estás listo con tu mentira? Ahorita, okay, bien obediente. Sí, ahorita me estoy mintiendo por eso. Dale. <laughs> okay. The last time, the last time, Liz Lane is queen my wife calls for me. Your wife okay. calls. Te llamaba tu esposa. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it usually happens. Actualmente sucede. Thank you. And then we go with Claudia and then continue with the exercises. Okay, Claudia? Uh, the last lay was to that I was 25 years old. Okay. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Ah, pero permíteme, permíteme. La, la, la mentira fue que vos dijiste que tenía 25 o cuando tenía 25. 25 años. <risa> sí, <risa> eso eh, ha sido. Tener 25. And how old are you? ¿Y cuántos tiene? 28. <risa> ok, tres años. Ya, yeah, three years. <risa> tres añitos van, tres añitos. Viene, no problem. Ok. Bueno. Well, good. Ya vamos a adivinar las edades de todos ustedes. Ya vamos a ver cuánto consideran que tienen. Yes, yes, yes. Ok. <laughs> And here we have this. Well, um, lies are kind of common. A veces un tanto comunes. Yes. But sometimes they are kind of innocent. Well, here we have this. Look at the words in bold. And complete the sentences below. Okay. And here we have affirmatives. And here we have negatives. Vamos a completar estas, right? Pero antes que eso, necesito que lean algunas de estas. So, uh, please, uh, Wendy, uh, I need you to read some of these sentences, okay? Affirmative sentences. I am going to arrive. Okay, affirmative sentences. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. I'm going to stay until Monday. Miss, Mr. Puentes? Miss Puentes. Going, Miss Puentes, I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on, on April 14. 14th. Okay, Miss Puentes is going to travel. Thank you. Okay, for negative, I like to hear in this case to Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel, here we have negative sentences. Okay. Miss Puentes. Negative sentences. Miss Puentes is not going to try to Cuba on the 14th. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Tuesday. Tuesday. Thursday, Gabriel. Thursday. Okay? Thursday. Come on, vamos. Thursday. Yes. Thursday. 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 And here we have, um, let's see. Oscar, can you help me with questions? Yes, no questions. Are you going to stay? Are you going to stay in a, uh, in a smoking? Or no smoking room. Mm -hmm. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? Or double room. Good. Thank you. Yvette, I need you to help me with this. How long? Okay. Information question. How long are you going to stay? Yes. When when are you going to arrive? Arrive. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Okay, perfect. And Evelyn, can you help me with this? Use be going to plus verb based form to describe schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay. Use be going to verb based form to describe is schedule. 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 A schedule activities and activities that will de definitely de definitely happen in the future for negative sentences insert not before going to mm -hmm. yes for negative solo le ponemos el not okay that's it easy peasy right and for this Kenya please to ask ah no solo esto Okay. To ask. To ask, yes, no, question about schedule. Schedule. No, schedule. Yo creo que esta, esta palabra todo nos no ha dado problema. Schedule. Ah, schedule activities. Big. Begin. That begin with the verse B. Plus the subject. The subject. Plus. Mas, 
¿Cómo es el más en inglés? Se escribe plus, pero se pronuncia plus, como ah, Disney okay. plus. Uh -huh. Ok, plus going to plus verse. Thank you very much. And then we go with Carito. For the, for information questions. Me toca a mi teacher. Yes, Carito, please. Okay. La última parte, for information. For information question, just place the WH word phrases at the beginning of the question and continue like you would do for a yes, no question. Yes. Sencillamente, lo último que dijo Carito es esto. Si le ponen, por ejemplo, is he going to play? Ahí estamos preguntando, él va a jugar, pero si le ponemos where is he going to play, ¿dónde so, va a jugar? ¿Ok? Or when. or when is he going. Entonces es fácil porque esa la palabra la podemos cambiar, pero la estructura en sí debe de llevar is al inicio. Y de ahí le agregan una palabra antes, que es lo que quieren saber. ¿Ok? Perfecto. Now. Ya vimos esto nuevamente. Ok, afirmatives, tenemos las afirmativas, las negativas y las preguntas. Creo que no es muy complicado esta estructura gramatical, right? It is kind of easy, algo fácil. So, vamos a estas oraciones, these sentences. So, order the words to create sentences in questions about scheduled. Necesito que esta, si quieren anoten esta pronunciación rara. Scheduled. Scheduled, no es que. Scheduled. Scheduled, son dos sílabas. Scheduled. Ok. Let's listen to Carito, to this pronunciation. Scheduled. Scheduled. Nice. Wendy. Scheduled. Scheduled. Schedule. Es que me dices es. Schedule. Good. Thank you. En Kenia. Schedule. Otra vez. Schedule. Schedule. Con la L. Schedule. Ok. Schedule. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> It is difficult. Por eso, en lugar de esta palabra, mucha gente utiliza agenda. The agenda, right? It is, it is like this. Okay, so nice. No well, el plano, entonces, que... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. When are you going to arrive to Dallas? Es la primera, okay? Carito, a vos te iba a decir porque veo que andas cansadita ahora. I know it's Monday. It's hard. Créanme que yo ando cansado como que sí. Mejor no digo, pero como que sí algo. So, uh, we have from two to six. Which one? Uh, creo que le estaba hablando a Los Ángeles. Do you hear me? Yep. Okay. Number four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is Mrs. Turcios going to check out tomorrow? Turcios. Going to check out. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, pregunta, no. I can see. Oh, Mr. Turpius is going to check out tomorrow. Well, quiero ver si la, las otras, no, ninguna tiene. Pregunta, interrogatorio. Ah, no, no. Pero son preguntas. Uh, yes, our really? question, yes. Sí, son okay. preguntas. Thank you, Carito. Tu, tu sexto sentido receptor de infidelidad lo hizo de nuevo. Perfect. Ok, Kenia. No llores, Carito, tranquilo. Okay, hey, Kenia. Two. Number two, let's go. When are you going to arrive to Dal Dallas? Dallas, pero esa ya está, Kenia. <risa> Ay, teacher. Kenia, me quería hacer la mexicana, mira. No, 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 es que me había confundido. 
Eh, buen intento, Kenia, buen intento. Casi lo logras. <risa> no, en serio, no me no, había es, visto. Esta Kenia creo que era la que le, le quitaba el trabajo a la gente. Es que no, no había visto de que, ajá, que la, la uno estaba <risa> respondida arriba. Okay. Pensé que la línea, la línea de, de, de... Era la de abajo. No, no a mí también me pasó, yo iba a contestar esa también. Es que así lo contesté, fíjate. <ríe> Mire, ok, sigan su corazón, adelante Kenia, después Luis. Sigan su corazón, pero de verdad. Come on, Kenia. Ok, teacher, entonces vamos si lo podemos hacer. <ríe> ok, eh, what number? Depende, ¿qué mm, número? Number, eh, number six. Uh -huh. uh, mis mis días mis días is going to I need mm, need need uh, no smoking round Room. Yes. Si la existe es esta oración, si la quiere, quisiéramos hacer preguntas, solo le cambiamos el is al inicio. Okay. Okay. Mis okay. días is going to, is mis días going to. Ok, la vamos a dejar así para el parte del show. Thank you, Kenia. Luis, you go and then Mardo. Sí, el que le miente, Carito. Las dos que yo había hecho, las dos que había hecho me la ganó Carito y me la ganó también la niña. Kenia. Kenia, no, es que Kenia, no sé por qué siento que le, así hace, nos hace la, ok, teacher, la vuelta, eh, no, lo siento, no me he fijado, la prueba, eh, number two, teacher, number two, eh, are you going to a reservation for conference room, ay, oh. me faltó el verbo, ajá, are you going, Are you going to make mm -hmm. a reservation mm -hmm. for conference room? For the conference. Mm -hmm. The conference room. Perfect. Y fíjate que está extensa esta oración. Good one. Sí. Nice. Ya ven, sí. cuando escuchan su corazón, todo se le ve. Yo la tengo diferente, Tiche. Ajá. Porque no es una pregunta. Ok. Aquí la podemos hacer preguntas o afirmativas, pero sigue tu corazón, Mardo. ¿Qué te dice tu corazón? You are going to make a reservation mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. for, a, for the conference for... room. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, good one. También está muy bien. Ok. No, nos, hace, nos haría falta tres y cinco. Luis. Mardo, ¿vas a hacer otra? No, Tiche, perdón, le doy la oportunidad. Ah, no, no, perdón. <ríe> ok, nice. Eh, Luis, eh, Carla, I'm sorry. Ok, number three. I'm re, re, rescuing, rescuing, ¿cómo es? Mm -hmm. Ok, request es el verbo. Request, es okay. solicitar, request. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces I, I'm waking up. No, no es I am waking. Mira, ahí está el going to. Uh -huh. Ok, I am going to rest, rest in. Ajá. I am going to request. No, request. sin ING, solo ahí sí está request. Uh -huh. Ok, request. Waking up. Oh, se decía for a uh, mm -hmm. wake up call. Okay, nice, thank you. Solo una cinco no haría falta. Any idea? Okay. What if I ask you to a preguntar a Oscar? Number five. Puede ser afirmativa uh, o pregunta. 
o negativa, ah, okay, si tú quieres. Ah, pues, um, is, eh, is maintaining I going to the conference um, no 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 is is I going to uh, the conference maintaining it was being I go to the maintenance uh, attend the October 10. Attend to the conference. The October on, 10. No, on. On October 10. Thank you. Nice, thank you. Okay, my friends, it's really good. Vamos ahora a. Here we have this. Okay. Think of two business events that you are going to attend. Assigned dates for each. Practice making a hotel reservation for those dates. Bien, well, piensen al menos en uno. Think about one. One business event I am going to attend a meeting on September or whatever. Y ahí le ponen la, 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 la fecha. On September. Ya me equivoqué. Okay. September 10. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to have a meeting, puede ser otro. Y pueden poner una fecha próxima, okay? For example, what? Let me see. Monday 30th. El, tre, el lunes 30. Yeah, you, you can do it. Okay? There's no problem. So I am going to. Y en lugar de decir I am, pueden decir obviamente I'm going to. Okay? Yes. Carito, are you ready? You have one or two? Just one. Okay, say it. I'm going to attend an audit on May 3rd. 30, 31, and 1st June. Oh, wow. It's okay. So, yes, yes, that's good. And that's at the, the next week, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. Yes, well, <laughs> sorry. I hope you can do it really well. I vas a pagar por todas las que... No. Mis pecados. <laughs> mis pecados. Uh -huh. Entonces, aplica la de Mardo. Inventa, mentir, la de Mardo, aplica. Okay. Eso hago. <laughs> ah, ok. Y decir que no, no. Dijiste que no decías mentiras. Right? Yo no las digo, pongo a Kenia. Ah, Kenia, Kenia is the liar. Kenia Ay. is the liar. Kenia. Ajá, mentirosa. Mm -hmm. Ella es la mentirosa y a mí me quiere culpar. Ok. Una canción que ahí se llama de elefante, mentirosa. It's really good, güey. Ah, cabal. Así, yes. esa la dedico. Ah, esa la dedicamos a Carito. <laughs> Mentirosa, traicionera. Well, I just give the instruction. Todo un poco tiene esta niña. <laughs> okay. That's good and interesting. Thank you. Okay, Kenia, are you ready? Maltrata a los empleados también. Ya, entonces vamos a poner la denuncia. I know. <clears throat> vamos a poner la denuncia aquí. Okay. That's a liar. Tenemos un cantante. Tenemos aquí un músico, motociclistas. Tenemos mentirosos. Ok, good. We have a lot of things. Ok, Kenia, are you ready with your uh, sentence, with your business event? Teacher, lo siento, aquí tengo estos niños me desconcentrado. Disculpe. Ok, ok, no problem. Let's go with who, con quién vamos. 
Uh, Mardo, are you ready? And then Oscar. Yeah. Please. We are going to attend an audit at the end of the month. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the end, at the end of the month. Interesting. At the end. Nice. Mentiles, Mardo, mentiles como siempre. Okay, Oscar eh, and Luis. Aprendo, aprendo de, ah, de, de, ap la, de la asesora, de la asesora. Aprendo. De la maestra. De la maestra. De la maestra, estás aprendiendo bien. Y cómo, cómo chabelear reportes. Este, oh, wow. Ya, yeah. okay. confirmar a este, reuniones que no se llevan a cabo. Ya. Yeah. Come on, Mardo. <risa> Me recuerda. Ay, menos mal, yo soy Ay. la mentirosa. Ok, ya está saliendo a la luz, todo sale a la luz, tarde o temprano. That's it. Ok, Oscar and Luis. I'm going to the uh, hospital May 31 of uh, Chuclau. Ok, nice. Uh, Luis and Wendy. I, I am going to attend a general meeting November 11. Interesting, good one. Oh, you have time. Uh, Wendy and Yvette. I'm going to have a meeting on Friday 27. Friday. Friday 27. 27. Friday. In, yes, good, because that's really specific. Yvette and Gabriel. Okay. I am going to have seminar accompanied in the hotel, the... By the June? Mm -hmm. The fifth, fifth, good. Uh, Gabriel okay. and Carlos. Okay. I am going to warehouse management seminar mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. other week. Oh, next week, yes. Mm -hmm. Very well, Carlos. And then we go with um, Wilfredo. Okay, I go to to, um, to attend a meeting the weekend. Mm -hmm. Good. Wilfredo and Evelyn. I'm going to a um, meeting um, uh, September. September. 10. Okay, on September 10th. Thank you. And we go with Evelyn and Dura. I'm going to have a training on Friday. Mm, good. And Duran and Claudia. I'm going to attend the meeting on July 17th. Mm -hmm. Nice. And we go now with Claudia and Yes. And I am going to attend a TED talk mm -hmm. on uh, Friday. On Friday. Okay. And uh, Edwin, are you there? Okay. Creo que Edwin no está por acá. Okay. And Kenya, yes. Tell us. Let's see, teacher. I'm going to have a meeting tomorrow at nine o'clock online. And okay, at nine o'clock. Good, good for you. Okay, thank you. And here we have some of the. What's the name of this song? Who is in charge of this song? I don't remember who was. Let me see. Oscar or Wilfredo? No, me tocó la semana pasada. Antes que Wilfredo. Claudia. Or Wendy. Ah, es cierto. Claudia or Wendy. Yo creo que es Wendy, Wendy creo. Eh, Bye. Yo ya... ahí, ahí se están pasando la ola, eso me gusta cuando va. No, ya, yo, yo que no la cama. Ok. Ajá, cabal. Wendy. Dime a minutos. 
Ah, o sea, va. Ya, ticha, no sabía, pero la puedo buscar. Esa, esa excusa me gusta porque ah, no sé bien. Va. I'm going to give you time. Te voy a dar tiempo, Wendy. Va. Aquí se te va a pasar el sueño. Ya vas a ver. Dale. Ok. Ok, mientras se prepara um, Wendy. Eh, por chat, let me see. Ok. Tenemos lo del going to. ¿Verdad? Pero con esto del going to, eh, quiero explicarles algo, algo bien importante. Utilizamos will, we have will versus going to. The two forms or the two structures are uh, useful and important for expressing future events. But in this case, we have some differences. There are some differences in which we can Uh, detail the use. Podemos detallar y diferenciar el uso. Ok. Tenemos, por ejemplo, will, rapid decision. I'm Thursday. I think I will buy a drink. Eso es como una decisión rápida. Estoy sediento. Ah, creo que compraré una bebida. Ok. Um, offer, oferta. That looks heavy. I will help you with it. Ok. Eso se ve pesado. Imagínense, alguien va, va cargando algo pesado. Se ve pesado. Te ayudaré. I will help you. Promise, promesas que nos hacen y después nos mienten. Don't worry, no te preocupes. I won't tell anyone. Esta ya me la han hecho. Don't worry, I, I won't tell anyone. No te preocupes, no le diré a nadie. Mm, yes, of course. All of us have been victims. Todos hemos sido víctimas de esto. Right. Well, uh, treat, que es trato. If you don't stop, I will tell your mother. Si tú no te detienes, le diré a tu mamá. Ok. Refusal. Refusal es rechazo. She won't listen to anything I say. También me han dicho eso. Ella no escuchará nada de lo que yo diga. Está enojada esa mujer. She won't listen to anything I say. So, these are like the cases in which we can use will. Son como los casos en los que podemos utilizar will para futuro, ¿verdad? Will es, es bien fácil porque solo le, es como que un verbo en presente, pero le agregamos will y está en futuro. ¿Ok? Uh, por ejemplo, tenemos I play soccer on the, in the park. Pero si agregamos will aquí, sería I will play soccer in the park. Ya no sería yo juego fútbol en el parque, sino yo jugaré, jugaré fútbol en el parque. Entonces, todo es yo comeré, yo bailaré, dormiré, y así es el will. En cambio, el going to es voy a, voy a jugar, voy a bailar, voy a estudiar. ¿Ok? Esa es la diferencia. Um, let me see here. Ok. Y aquí tenemos el going to prior plan. The, de the decision was made before the moment of speaking. Es cuando la decisión ya se hizo antes del momento de hablar. I'm going to the beach next weekend with my friends. Voy a ir a la playa el otro fin de semana con mis amigos. Ok. Entonces aquí quiero hacer énfasis. El going to se utiliza para planes que se van a hacer dentro de poco. En un mes, en un par de semanas, en un par de días. That's going to main use. Es el primer uso o el uso principal del going to. Que ya tienen un plan y que está concreto. Ok. Si ustedes dicen, uh, me voy a casar algún día. I will get married. Entonces utilizamos will porque no tenemos nada claro. Ah, pero si ustedes ya tienen las tarjetas y, y ya han hecho el presupuesto y ya pagaron la recepción, definitely you're going to, porque sí se van. Ok, that's it. Evidence, evidence or signs, evidencias o señales. When there are signs that something is likely to happen, cuando hay evidencia de que algo va a pasar. Cuando ustedes tienen ya algo claro que sí va a suceder. My stomach hurts a lot and I think I'm going to throw up. Mi estómago me duele y yo me duele mucho y creo que voy a vomitar. Throw up significa vomitar. 
Okay. You can say vomit. Para vomitar podemos decir throw up, throw up. Podemos decir vomit y podemos decir Bart, como Bart Simpson. Bart. It's another form to say vomit or throw up. Pero throw up es el verbo que más se utiliza. Vomit se utiliza como, más que todo como sustantivo, como el vómito o como algo así, ¿verdad? Entonces, no es muy agradable hablar de eso, but it is important to know this vocabulary, ¿ok? Throw up. Por ejemplo, te preguntan, how do you feel? How are you feeling? ¿Cómo te sientes? Mm, I think I will throw up or I want to throw up. Quiero echar el buitre. So that's it. Throw up, vomit, bart. And the other is... It's seven zero. They are going to win. Van 70 a cero. Mm, van a ganar. They are going to win. O sea, ya cuando, por ejemplo, hay un, una final y van 7 a cero. ¿Ok? O 9 a cero. Es difícil que remonten. Ya. Tres goles pueden remontar. Even four. He visto eso. But uh, like a big difference. So mm, they are going to win. Van a ganar. ¿Ok? Entonces, ese es. Eh, la diferencia principal. So, you can use both will or going to for making predictions. Vaya, miren, para hacer predicciones pueden utilizar ambos. Will and going to. I think it will rain tomorrow. Yo creo que va a llover mañana. Or, I think it is going to rain tomorrow. Yo creo que va a llover mañana. ¿Ok? Son predicciones. Mm, yo creo que esa pareja va a terminar. Mm, yo creo que me, me voy a me van a despedir. Well, predictions, son predicciones. So you can use will or going to. And here we have this. So are you busy this evening? Y tenemos estos. Uh, haven't made any plans. Dice, no he hecho ningún plan. No tengo planes. Creo que probablemente. Oh. Creo que probablemente veré televisión. Ok. I'm going, I'm probably going to watch TV. Ah, pero ese es cuando se utiliza el, el, el probably para predicciones. Lo último, acá. In spoken English se utiliza gonna. Yo creo que ya han visto eso, gonna. Instead of going to. Por ejemplo. Miramos acá. I'm going to the concert. En lugar de esto, en lugar de going to, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ok. Ese es el inglés este bien informal. Igual, she's gonna He's gonna visit her mom. Ok. Así que el gonna es en lugar del going to, por si lo, si lo ven en una conversación, en una película, es lo más común. Ok. So, what if we go with the song with Wendy? Are you ready? ¿Estás lista para tu punto artístico? Yes, uh, teacher. Bien. I really. Uh, Estaba con sueño aquí se te va a quitar. Ay, no. Ok, Wendy. Vos mandas ahorita. Ok. <tose> Permítame escuchar que. Cerra todo, pues, cerra todo, please. No, no, no tengo nada malo. No, I'm not saying that, no estoy diciendo eso, pero el historial es. Sometimes ah, it's dangerous. No sé, mi compu me está pidiendo permiso de acceso. Oh. Decirle que sí. ¿Lo tienes en Word o en imagen? Lo tengo, uh, es Word, es como un Word, pero es que mi compu es, es Mac. 
puedo mandarle screenshot y me ayuda porque no sé por qué no puedo compartir. Tranquila, Wendy, no vamos a ver nada. Carito, please help us. Sí, es que no me está pidiendo. Ahorita. Un momento, ahorita voy. Listo. Okay. <clears throat> Ya sé con qué no me abre la imagen. Ok. Ready. Ok. Uh, ¿Sí la ven? Yes. Si sí la ven, okay. dile que. Ok, Wendy, you go. Okay. Uh, your face when you love something you can't replace when you love someone but that going to was called it called it to be worse life will guide you home and ignite your bond and i will try to fit you mm -hmm. okay easy. Yes, there's there's the name of the song in that lyrics. Ahí está el nombre de la canción. I don't know if anybody knows it. Mm, creo que no. No son no son fans de Coldplay, verdad? Ajá. Como no les gusta, quizás maybe they you don't like. Well, or maybe some of them. But this name, the name of the song is Fix You, right, Wendy? Yes, yes, Coldplay. Yes. Yes. When you feel sad, cuando se sientan tristes, esta canción levanta. Y si no lo levanta es porque necesitan ayuda. Really. I This, like Coldplay. Yes, Coldplay is really good. Tiene bastantes canciones bien positivas. Um, I recommend this song. Se llama Fix You. Fix You. Así como las últimas dos palabras de esta letra. Y vean la, la, la traducción. Es fácil también de cantarla un poco, por lo menos al inicio. Y sí, el, el mensaje que da es really positive. Bastante positivo. Thank you, Wendy. Really good song. Ya me acordé, tenía rato de no escuchar esta canción. La voy a escuchar. Ok, Wendy, we finished. And... Vamos a comenzar de nuevo. Um, Carlos, can you present a song for tomorrow podría presentar otra canción mañana sí, está bien, bitch. perfect my friend and then carito carito is for wednesday ok carito again sorry yes again again the song ok perfect sí, porque son alumnos destacados ustedes por eso no es porque sean los primeros de la lista no sé eh, eh, come on carita <laughs> Solo porque dicen mentiras, no quiere decir que yo se las diga, come on. La okay. traducción. It's okay, teacher, for Thursday. Yes. Thursday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Okay, good one. Let's see, um, here we have this. Well, um, after watching this, tiene, gracias, Wendy, excelente canción. Okay, questions about this explanation. ¿Tienen dudas con esta explicación que di sobre el will y el going to? 
the same question that I asked last time. If I use will, for example, in a prior plan or viceversa, también se escucha así como bien. Ajá, sí, sí, se puede Ordinario. mezclar los usos. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sí, of course, you can do it. Eso no, no es que esté escrito en piedra, pero si se hace énfasis, por ejemplo, al going to, es como cuando te dicen, bueno, te dicen, ah, fíjate, carito, que en 15 días vamos a la playa. Pero si te utilizan el will, sería, um, fíjate que vamos a ir a la playa. Pero, pero aunque no te presenten acá los 15 días o te... O, no vas a sentir la seguridad de ese plan, seguro, ¿verdad? Sin sí, valga la redundancia, con will. Pero con el going to, no es necesario que te digan más cosas. Si te dicen going to, es porque esa actividad va, se va a dar. En cambio, con el will, es como, mm, pero la puedes usar. La puedes usar, right? Ok, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. So that's it. Pueden utilizar algo mezclado, pues, eh, esto. Si por eso... No está, digamos, tan escrito en piedra, but it is like um, recommendable, de más recomendable para planes a futuro que tienen, que, que están muy seguros que va a pasar o cuando tienen evidencia de algo. Y de ahí para el resto, sencillo, utilicen Will. Utilicen Will para todo el futuro. Yes, ese es mi, 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 mi tip, mi consejo. Pero cuando tengan planes específicos y alguna evidencia de algo utilicen going to sencillo that's it ok creo que creo que es una explicación como que bastante clara y que no nos puede confundir mucho right well um, vamos acá eh, tenemos eh, estas this sentences ya hicimos seis de estas oraciones verdad recuerden verdad he is going we are going ¿Verdad? Si es negativo, he isn't, she isn't, we aren't, they aren't. Y si es pregunta, primero el verbo to be am, are, is. Ok. So, uh, let's complete this. Vamos a completar estas. Ok. So, um, maybe. No, vamos a hacerlas todas rápidamente. Ok. First one, I will pick Luis and Evelyn. Ok, Luis, pick one. Uh, okay, teacher number seven. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to watch TV tonight? Okay. Are you going to watch TV tonight? Okay, y la respuesta es? Mm, no. Ajá, te I recuerdo. Mm -hmm. No. No. I am not. Yes, perfect, Luis. No, I am not. Okay. Another one. Thank you, Luis. If not, I will pick Edwin and then, I ah, know Evelyn, tengo. Evelyn and then Edwin. And then Carita. Okay. Number three. Alex is going, going to go to work okay. today because he's sick. Thank you. Solo que aquí esa la, nos hizo la, la corrección que a, la, la pasa Carito. Ajá, porque ajá, él no va a trabajar porque está ajá. enfermo. Uh -huh. yes, But it's yes. good. He's not going. Ya ven que está fácil el uso de esto. Edwin and then Carito. Ok. Where are they going to stay when they visit Paris? Ok, recuerden siempre decirme el número, ok, porque sea más fácil. Where ok, so going to, yes, where are they going to stay? ¿Dónde se van a quedar cuando ellos visiten París? When are they going to stay? Very well, thank you. Ok, Carito, and then we go with Yvette. Number 15. Ok. Luke is going to dark clothes. I think he's going to rain soon yes mm -hmm. I think it's going como les decía como ya hay una evidencia de que la, las nubes están oscuras 
por eso es que, ¿verdad? Se va, piensa que van a llover. Ok, eh, Yvette en Oscar. Ok, um, eh, Eleven. Ya. Yeah. We are. Mm -hmm. We are, um, no veo. <laughs> We are mm -hmm. going to mm -hmm. the beach today because the world is bad. Okay, we are going to go to the beach today because the weather is bad. Porque el clima es malo. Entonces, van a ir. Mm, sería quizás lo opuesto. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería lo sí. negativo? Sería... Eh, we aren't. Ajá, we aren't. Going to. Yes, we aren't going to. Good. Thank you. Oscar and Claudia. Yes, Oscar. What number? Okay, teacher. Uh, number two. Yeah. Uh, are your brother uh, going to travel next week? Okay, excellent. En este caso, siempre nos confundimos cuando utilizamos your, porque you, pero como estamos hablando de tu hermano, es como sería él. Entonces, vamos a utilizar is. ¿Verdad? Okay, okay. Mm. Is your brother. Mm -hmm. Y la respuesta para esto, ¿cuál sería? Yes, he... Yes, he go. Ah, ah. ah Vamos no. a contestar con el verbo to be. Porque aquí lo estamos Ay. utilizando. Yes, he... Yes, he is. Ok. Thank you. Claudia. Uh, number 10. Number 10. What are you going... What are you going... Uh, buy for your sister the Friday present. Yes. I'm going to... Yes, perfect. What are you going to buy for your sister's birthday present? Thank you. Carlos, you go, and after Carlos, we go with Gabriel. Number 14. Mm -hmm. It's not three o'clock. Are we going to leave for the airport some? Okay. It's almost three o'clock. Casi son las tres en punto. Mm -hmm. Vamos a irnos para el aeropuerto. Thank you. Okay, Gabriel en Kenya. Number 12. Number 12, okay. Yeah, I am tired so i am going to yes take a short nap, short nap. nap significa short siesta nap. Okay. es algo que todos nosotros necesitaríamos al menos con 10 minutos de siesta 15 vaya 12 12 con 12 a uh, uh, 12 minute nap creería que podríamos ser más productivos Uh, I, I believe that. No, yo sí realmente lo creo. I strongly believe it. Pero hay algunos que quizás nos tardaremos un poquito más en, en, en esa siesta, ¿verdad? Que es peligrosa. Pero igual. No sé si ustedes han tenido esas siestas reparadoras de 15 minutos. And then you feel better. Se sienten mejor. Yo, carito, cama, qué negativa. Gabriel, no. I have. Yes, Oscar, right? You know what, teacher? I... Uh, me demoro como media hora en dormirme mm. y cuando duermo de día me levanto con la cabeza como en bomba entonces a mí las fiestas no me no son bien. para ti not for no. you no for me yo tengo la capacidad de quedarme dormido quizás en dos minutos yo yo sí a mí me encanta I love it but Oscar yeah. Romero entonces, wow. I I I think every day el eh uh, uh, noche After dinner, after lunch, después de la, del yes. almuerzo, una siestecita. Yes, yes. Con un osito, Every day. Con, con un teddy bear. Okay. Nice. Yes, it, it is good. Yeah. Y de ahí uno se levanta, ¿verdad, Oscar? Se levanta como un poquito más activo y yeah. más productivo. Yeah. Yes, eso a mí me funciona. No siempre Pero se le, puede. Le funciona a mi jefe. Bye. Ok. And Kenia, you are. The one. Eres la elegida. 
Okay. Okay. Number 13. Mm -hmm. My, no sé si dice, dice cousin. Cousin. Okay. My cousin doesn't like her, bo her boss. She is going to look for a new job. Perfect. Bien pronunciado. She is going to look for a new job. Ella va a buscar un nuevo trabajo. My cousin doesn't like her boss. A mi primo, a mi prima, perdón. Es porque dicen she. A mi prima no le gusta su jefe. Bueno, well, that's part of the life. A veces sucede, right? And thank you. Who else? We have number four, five, and six. Algún samaritano o samaritana. De buen corazón. Evelyn. Yeah. Number six. Mm -hmm. We're too, too, too busy. So we aren't have lunch. Perfect. Aren't going. Going to, uh -huh, going to have lunch. Yes. We are too busy. Y esto creo que a todos les ha pasado. When you are too busy, cuando están tan ocupados que no van a almorzar. Mm -hmm. That's really bad. That's yes. negative. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We go with Claudia and Carito, que también es otra persona que quiere participar. I know, I know. Claudia, uh, I four know or five. Uh, five. Mm -hmm. uh, I am you going to do your homework? Ok, con you no podemos utilizar am. Am lo utilizamos I'm solo con I. I. Ajá, sería are. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Are you going to uh, do your homework? Homework, homework. Uh -huh. Ahora uh, aquí homework. se contesta yes. Aquí sí utilizamos el otro. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am. Thank you. Carito, both and Katy. Carito, teacher, but you participo cuando ya nadie quiere participar. I see. Okay, number, number four, four. Bob and Kathy are going to see a movie tonight. It starts at seven o'clock. Okay. Are going to, porque son dos personas, ¿verdad? Si are solo fuera uno, utilizara, yeah. utilizáramos is. Ahora, eh, mm. si se encuentra number four, It starts at 7 o'clock. Comienza a las 7 en punto. O sea, ese es un plan y, y tienen que ir a ver la película porque comienza a las 7. Right? So, nice, my friends. Ok. Um, we have this. What is the last lie that you told? Nos faltan 17 minutos. ¿Cuál es la última mentira que dijeron algunos de ustedes? Let's listen to Yvette. And then Gabriel. Okay. The last lie is that I was glad for the office because there was a lot of traffic. Okay. There was a lot of traffic. Yes. Okay. Let's listen to Gabriel. Hola. Hello. Mm -hmm. La uh, última mentira que dijiste. I do not know. I do not remember. You don't remember. I do not like to lie. I could not lie. Uh, that they like to me. Okay. I think that as difficult as as it maybe you should always speak the truth. Speaking the truth always. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Well, um that's good to, to be honest. Um let me check this.
Okay. Let's see. Okay. Thank you. What about Duran? Are you there, Duran? And then Stephanie no se conectó, pero. Okay. Si Duran no está, let me see. Let's go with Edwin. I don't know if Edwin is over there. Si Edwin está por ahí. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the last lie that you told? Mm, no te escuchamos. We yes, uh, the last lie I told was that I was going to work, but I didn't. Didn't I have something to buy with my worker? We had to travel to the capital. Okay. Well, that was kind of a, 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 like a, a very common light as well. Okay. Um, here we have this. Vamos a trabajar ahora en una conversation. Let me see. I want to check something. Okay. Here we have this. Carito, can you help me with the screenshot, please? If... Yes, teacher, right now. Ready? Okay, nice. Uh, what is we going to work in pairs? Vamos a ver, esperando en Dios que Zoom funcione y que no nos deje afuera, okay? Because it's necessary to work in this. It's necessary to work with this. Okay. We have hotel reservation, la parte uno. Esta es como la parte introductoria donde se hace la captura de datos. So here, here we have agent y customer, right? Agent, thank you for calling Spotlight Hotel. Ustedes le pueden cambiar todo lo que está en amarillo, le pueden cambiar Spotlight, le pueden cambiar si ustedes gustan, si no, no. Thank you for calling Spotlight Hotel. This is Josué Cuellar. Ustedes le pueden poner otro nombre. How, how may I assist you? Hi, I want to make a reservation and I don't know the offers you have. I'm happy to help. May I have your full name, please? William Eduardo Clara Rivas. Thank you for the information. May I have your phone number, please? It's 2233-1440. Now, Mr. Clara, I will need your address, please. San Salvador, Quinta Dorada, Residential Complex House, number 51. Could, no could. Could. Could you give me your email address, please? Sure, it's, y lo dicen, William Clara underscore 15 at gmail.com. Entonces lo voy a poner a trabajar en parejas y necesito, I need you to change this information. Necesito que cambien la información que está subrayada en amarillo, ¿ok? Van a utilizar el nombre, su nombre real, o si, si quieren llamar de otra manera, no problem. El número lo pueden inventar, of course. Y la dirección también, ¿ok? Igual su correo electrónico, ¿ok? Eh, we have like 12 minutes. Tenemos como 12 minutos para trabajar en eso. El tiempo va a volar rápido. Ok, let me see. Esperando. Esperando que no me vaya a fallar esto. Solo deme un momento. I'm checking this.
Ok, my friends. Si en caso llegara a pasar algo, recuerden que los quiero mucho y se vuelven a conectar. Ok. Si los llega a sacar Zoom, se vuelven a conectar. Right. Vamos a hacer una prueba. Recuérdenme como una buena persona. Bye bye. Acepten la solicitud.
Hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. Everything okay in the session? Todo bien en los grupos? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, pues ya, ya se arregló esta cosa. I hope so. Ok, welcome back. Bienvenidos. Hoy sí ya no me lo sacó Zoom. Me alegra mucho. I'm really happy to know that it's, it really works. Bien, volunteers for the conversation. Ya nos quedan como dos minutos y medio. Creo que pueden pasar un par. Volunteers, voluntarios. Para la Teletón. Ya. Yeah. Bien, si no tenemos volunteers. Oscar, well... ¿Quién fue? Who was your classmate? Hey, Wendy. Con Wendy. Vaya, Wendy, te vacunaron. Después, Edwin. Ah, por ahí que Wendy se estaba riendo. Ok. Oscar and Wendy, action. Eh, ok. Thank, thank you for, for calling Spotlight Hotel. This is Wendy Cantadero. How many I have seen you? Hi, I want to make a reservation and I want to know the offer you have. I'm happy to help. May I have your phone name, please? Uh, Oscar Romero. Thank you for the information. May I have your phone number, please? Uh, it is a uh, seven seven one one. Uh, one night, one night. Now, Mr. Romero, I will need your address, please. Uh, San Salvador, call San Antonio, house number 12. Could you give me your email address, please? Uh, sure, it is uh, romero at gmail.com. Perfect, really good, bien hecho. Bien, solo un detalle acá con respecto a esto, ¿verdad? Recuerden, could, could. Y aquí es, how may I, how may I. Ok, very nice. Edwin, sé que querías participar, eh, lo haríamos el día de mañana. Vamos a continuar con esta conversación porque es bien importante por el tema de asistencia. Ok, Edwin, creo okay. que es bien importante por el tema de recepción y captura de información. I'm going to check the attendance list quickly. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia. Y pues este sería pues ya casi lo último. Recuerden, el jueves terminamos el curso. I recommend you to finish the, the, the homework these days. Estos días terminan los trabajos, las tareas y el examen final. El examen final háganlo para ya el jueves ya estar relax. Ok, so uh, please say hello if you are there. Carlos. Hello, Rich. Nice, Carito. I'm here, teacher. Good, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Hello, Steffi. Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Gabriel. Nice. Present, teacher. Gab uh, Duran. Yvette. Present, teacher. Kenya. Good. Bye. Luis. Mardo. Hello, teacher. Nice. Good night, teacher. Night, Oscar. Wilfredo. Good night, teacher. Claudia and Wendy. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Okay, my friends, have a good night. Pasen buenas noches. See you tomorrow. Nos vemos mañana. Casi terminamos. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank you. Good night. Good night.
Well, we are having a short review about the contents that we studied uh, this class. The topic was how to use be going to. Okay, here we have a short conversation that it's um, it's between Jen and Gerardo. Here we have the instructions, listen to your teachers, read the conversation, then practice with a partner, a phone call to hotel. Hello, thank you for calling Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday the 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make a reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. <laughs> 